So I've put together a train pack of REE HO scale SNCF items. Um, the idea is it's actually the all-American train pack and it portrays a really interesting piece of history. Every item in here was built in America for the French during the First World War. So we'll start at the front here. We have a Nord Region 141A built by Baldwin in Philadelphia. The Nord Region needed freight locos fast and 50 of these were ordered using an existing PLM design. So, and then shipped across in around 1917. Got a real elegance, you've got the, the streamlined cab of the PLM design. The firebox is slightly different, the washout plugs are very unique to this design, and there's no smoke deflectors fitted to these. A really beautiful loco, you've got the petroleum lamps on the front, the little gold bars, a lot of detail. The boiler sits high above the running plate there. The motor sits in the firebox and drives the rear axle. And the whole model is made of die cast metal so it's really really nicely done. I'll show it running in a bit. So moving on we have got two TP gondolas and two TP couverts. Um, again delivered 30,000 of them were built in America and delivered as kits to the French Atlantic ports where they were assembled. Uh, they came in different varieties, the state wagons, flat wagons, uh, refrigerated wagons and then these which are the standard four-door uh, box wagons. It's two of those, two different running numbers and two of the uh, four-door gondolas and in keeping with REE models they are well detailed inside and out. We've got the bar frames there really nicely done and of course the height of the wagon means that it's all visible so quite often under frame details are a bit lost on models but in this case you see it all. Uh, the two front wagons have got all spoked wheels the next one has got replacement disc wheels and we've got a transitional wagon here so one of the spoke wheels has survived but the rest obviously wore out and were replaced with discs. The models themselves have got NEM coupler pockets and they have the standard European hoop couplings in the box. They just slot in with the swallowtail fitment. Um, they're on a kinematic, so if you use any of the close couplings out there, Fleischmann Profis or Roco close couplers, um, they will buffer up really nicely. Just for the photographs, I've left the, the couplings out. Um, they're supplied in, in the parts bags for each of the wagons. So I just thought it was a, a nice idea. Locomotive and rolling stock, the wagons effectively are free with the loco. So we've got the loco on the track on its own, a um, bit of housekeeping, there are parts bags with uh, couplings and things in them. It's another parts bag with all these uh, RE141s with the uh, loco crew, put that in if you wish. The wagons and the loco are supplied with this European hoop style coupling, but it is on an NEM 362 swallowtail and it just uh, pushes into the NEM pocket on the back. While we're around here, there are no lamps on the rear. Um, there is a little bell on the side. Really nicely detailed cab, you've got the catenary protection screen fitted. 
on the back here that just stops the crew waving um, shovels and things around and electrocuting themselves when they're working under catenary. Realistic coal mode. The paint is really nice and uniform across the whole loco and the metal construction sort of affects this as well. It uh, kind of shines through. Petroleum lamps on the front there. They illuminate at very low speed. Oops, let's go forward. It's a beautiful motor in here. Nice and controllable. I'm driving it using an ancient Hammond & Morgan controller. Well, just about crawl. And then smoothly transitions into higher speeds. Depending on how good you are with the controller. <laughs> controller and camera. It will go around 420mm radius curves, so radius 2 for um, Hornby and Fleischmann um, and Pico of course, uh, radius 3 on Roco because uh, their radius 1 is tram track. So there we are.